Okay, so Shaman King, episode 40. Alright, we got two of these. Oh boy, I'm, I'm gonna have to, like, do a lot of weird adding to make this fit with the format. Whatever, it's fine. Let's just go for it. Alright. So, so, yeah. Team The Rin keeps fighting uh, oh, Gundara. Man. So, so, here's the thing. I should probably, like, just mention this in case you're just watching Shaman King. Uh, yeah, they, they snuck an extra episode on us, and I have no idea what that means for next week, but means for this week we should probably, like, just do both of them. Yeah, yeah, so we're gonna do both. Yeah, which means that, like, I have one episode where I've, like, read the manga for it to, like, you know, see any weird translation differences or whatever, and one episode where there's just, like, I just did of the time... <laughs> Yeah, and I think we're gonna I think we're gonna talk about that one next week, like maybe at the beginning or something. Yeah, what happens if there's not like a Sean King episode next week? That'd be weird. Hold on one sec. Oh, what's going on? Uh, but yeah, it was like a whole thing. Sorry. Cat got some paper. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh no, cat. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so I would hope that we're back to normal schedule after this, and we'll do a, a Digimon episode and a Shaman King episode. Yeah. <clears throat> for the and... foreseeable future. Man, what what do we do after we, like... Because here's the... All right, so hear me out, right? What if we, like, run out of Shaman King episodes and Ghost Game is still going? Do we just, like... Do we just start, like, you know, on a different Digimon series and just do Digimon back-to-back? I mean, if you're not sick of Digimon, we could just start Frontier. I mean, yeah, I I feel like if this if I'm not sick of Digimon already, you know, that's probably fine. <laughs> Cuz it's like it it feels like yo know, Sean King was kind of like a bit of a break from Digimon and then Digimon just started up again. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, it's like also, uh, yeah. I mean, we could also just only review the one thing until we're done with it. Yeah, that's true, but also I, I, don't, I don't know how much that really goes to work on, right? Because Ghost Game episodes don't have a lot to talk about anyways. Yeah, may, like, may, maybe we'll have more to talk about when they inevitably go to the digital world. Oh yeah, hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Because I'm imagining, like, we get to a point where it's like, alright, you know, it's one Ghost Game episode and one Frontier episode... And then Ghost Game ends, and we can just jump into, like, three Frontier episodes at a time and, like, blast through it. Ooh, excuse me. I, yeah. I feel like that'd be, like, pretty fair, yeah. Yeah, that'd be fine. But, yeah, so, interesting note. I don't know how accurate this manga translation was, but they do make reference to, like, yo... Calling Rin like effing the monkey king in like the Buddha's hand in this shot, and the anime just doesn't really bring any of that up. Oh. So yeah, now suddenly this imagery makes way more sense. Yeah, it sure does. Yeah, it's like, oh yeah, because Rin's like, you know, it's like violent, like Chinese character with all these like weapons and stuff, and they're just like, oh, you're like nothing compared to the power of our da 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 da. Yeah, which is totally fitting of the story of the Monkey King. By the way, anyone who's unfamiliar with Journey to the West, the Monkey King rules. <laughs> oh yeah, go check out Orly Sarcastic Productions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it would just be more accurate to call him Monkey. But yeah, he's yeah. so he's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> they have such a good like just series where they're just like they're basically just like recapping the like entire Monkey King saga with little like yo animation. like yeah, not quite animation, but just like yo <laughs> yeah, like animatics kind of. It's so good. <laughs> I need to watch the most recent one that they uploaded. But yeah, yes. there's a reason there's a reason why so many things take Journey to the West as inspiration. <laughs> like apparently the books or like yeah, the books of the Monkey uh, the uh, Journey to the West can be kind of boring. But like 
the overall ideas and plot threads and everything are really fun and crazy. Yeah, is was the most recent one where they like they drunk out the water and it turned like the gang into girls and they had to find a way to like turn back. I don't, I don't think so. Uh, I, uh, maybe, I, cause, like I said, I haven't watched it yet. But if that's <laughs> <laughs> like wow, they were just they were doing common like anime tropes in <laughs> ancient China or whenever it was written. Yeah, because they had something where it's like, oh yeah, it's like the village of women, and they like drink from the stream and just turn into girls, and everyone's like, oh yeah, you drunk from the stream, did you? And they just start laughing at them. <laughs> Man, Jerry to the West is so... There's, there's a tiger demon that just rips his skin off and just fights things. <laughs> oh man but yeah also, it's, it's kind of funny how monkey is like monkey is so incredibly invincible that nothing can actually kill him but that doesn't mean he's always the strongest guy around yeah and so sometimes and like because of that he can't always rely on brute strength and he has to like uh he has to come up with like devious plans and tricks and stuff yeah yeah which so, is how like, he became so so powerful <laughs> in the first place. So it was like it is worth knowing that this is like referencing a story where it's like you know oh yeah the monkey king's in like the Buddha's hand and he's like oh yeah you know I bet you can't j like jump out of my palm or whatever. So he like he does it and he just jumps into like heaven and just like sees a mountain and just writes his name on it. And we like lands dice like, oh yeah, I told you I could jump out of your hand. And the Buddha reveals the mount was like one of his fingers, cause he's like this weird, like, you know, super god being. So yeah. he's like, oh yeah, no, my hand is the entire universe, actually. Yeah. <laughs> See so your it... signature's right here. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's that's a pretty cool nod to that then, if that's what this is supposed to be referencing. Oh, they yeah, really, they really should have pointed it out in, like, I don't know how they would have done it subtly or, like, just to not be so on the nose about it, but... I don't know, the Vega just straight up says that Rin's, like, the monkey in the Buddha's hand or something to that effect. Oh, uh, does, does a character say that, or is it just, yeah, like, Yeah, it's, it's the like guy a... with, like, you know, the, like, Buddha spirit, you know? It's, like, the user. He just straight up oh, says okay. it. Oh, okay, that's, uh, it is kind of weird, because there's, like, this cross, this crossing of cultures here, but yeah. it's, like, it's, like, Hindu, but then Rand is Chinese. Yeah, it's, it's really, like, getting interesting, where it's, like, you know, we're seeing, like, it's, because Sean King's always been like this, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, I feel like that's one of the big, like, kind of appeals of the series, is that you have, like, you know, it's, like, this, like, kid with this Chinese general who's finding, like, a guy with a samurai spirit, and now they're finding, like, Buddhas and, like, angels they are, like, robots and stuff. Yeah. And it's... I don't know. Yeah, the whole the whole cross-cultural thing is really neat. A, a bit later, we see the Sphinx return. Or, I yeah. guess, appear. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, what a... Oof. <laughs> yeah. But how how strong would like a sphinx be since it's like a mythological like figure? I don't know. I I feel like it would be fairly up there. I <laughs> know uh, that seems like a bit of like a thing. I mean, we'll probably find out. Yeah, it's, for now it seems like the sphinx <clears throat> is fairly powerful. <laughs> Yeah. It definitely feels stronger than the Lego blocks. Yeah, yeah. These are the comparisons I love about this show. <laughs> yeah. I, I posted that, like, out-of-context image that I sent you uh, for the next episode. Oh, yeah, another... we'll get to it. Yeah. I, I posted it in another <laughs> chat, and I was just like, it's Shaman King out of context is, like, so dumb sometimes. Oh, I love it. <laughs> But yeah, so this whole fight, Rin's like, Rin's <laughs> fighting this guy with this, like, from Gondar, with this Buddha spirit. There's, like, there's different names and different types, and I'm I'm honestly not gonna remember them all. It's just, like, you know, 
I remember Davas because the Davas are brought up in Digimon. <laughs> Wait, was that one of the groups? Damn, I have to like look back at that. <laughs> yeah, one of them is the Davas. Like two of them are like names I can't possibly remember because they're in another language. And then the other one is like whatever this group is. And then there's the Davas. But yeah, it's, it seems to imply that like <laughs> all the members of like this team have the ability to negate for Yoku or like mana. Yeah, until they can't, until they don't, because Ren figures it out and everyone else does too. <laughs> yeah, I have a theory on that, but I have no idea how correct it is. But I do have an idea that kind of at least makes sense in my head. What's that? Because okay. like. Yeah, the whole, this whole fight where it's like, all right, Ring keeps like pouring over souls and like you know attacking with them and stuff, and you know none of them are working because you know he just keeps erasing them. Yeah. Then he's like, all right, time to use my new over soul, which you know we we just see he just pulls it out. It, sh it shoots lightning. Yeah, and my theory is that it's like, all right. Maybe what's going on is that, like, their oversouls can, like, block, like, it can negate for Yoku, but it can negate, like, actual elemental effects, like, because he's summoning, like, real lightning with his mana. Yeah. Yeah, that's a possibility. And that would explain why, uh, Horo Horo is able to fight. Yeah, because, like... I don't know how can that's supposed to be, but in my mind it's like, okay, yeah, that that kind of makes sense. Because even though the lightning's, like, created with their mana, yo, you could see it's like, maybe it's just like, you know, it it's turns into actual lightning somehow. So it's like, you know, it's an element they can't, like, negate, and that's why I just blast through them. Yeah, they can negate Furioku, they can't negate, like, physical things, like lightning. Yeah, or like, you know, effing giant ice fists, for example. <laughs> yeah. By the way, we learned that supposedly in the group, Chocolat's the strongest. That, and, uh, and Horror Horror is the weakest. Supposedly. Yeah. At least, like, yeah. as of when they brought that up in the flashback. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, because that's right before they go into, like, a, like yeah. a training session. Honestly, that does kind of make sense, because, like, Chocolove just got the big power-up where he gets, like, the winds of laughter, and now it's like, okay, well, yeah, he is, like, an advanced oversoul that is, like, an elemental ability and stuff, and everyone else is just, like, brute-forcing it, essentially. <laughs> yeah, and Chocolove gets the, uh, I guess the big, like, instead of carrying the big sto dumb stone head around, it manifests as a little spirit. Yeah. Is that is that what's supposed to So this the spirit was like with him before. He that's what he actually got from hell. It just manifests as the big head and like the oversoul. Okay. And like, you know, he fused that with like his other thing, and that's what creates the Jaguar Man form. Oh, okay. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, we we get we get introduced to Abba. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, it's weird, because he was in the manga a bit, but I guess he just, like, didn't really do that much in the anime, so he's very easily to kind of, like, you know, ignore. Yeah. Because uh, they did kind of move that out, yeah, and, like, the Chocolove arc. Ah. Uh, but, yeah, uh, we learn that uh, Chocolove's new spirit friend can talk, it has a personality, and... Yeah, I like him. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just like Koichi's little, like, stand from JoJo's. <laughs> Less rude, but yeah. Less rude, but yeah. He's, he's like, uh, he's like, apparently he can read everybody like an open book, and he's like, Horo Horo, you've got, you got some stuff going on, man. Yeah. Horo Horo, you know, you really need to, like, clean up your act, you know? Like, yeah, you need to be more like your spirit. You need to learn how to play it cool, right? Because I see in Sav you, you're one cool customer. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> what the crap? Also, when Chocolove starts, like, freaking out over something that he shouldn't be freaking out over, Abba pops up and he's like, would you chill out? Yeah. He's, like, trying to rein him in, and he's, like, trying to get these stupid kids to, like, actually, like, think for a second. Yeah, I like him. 
Right, before I move on too much, I do want to quickly mention there is a weird, like, translation thing. I don't understand how this, like, happened. Uh-huh. Because, like, I, I tried to look this up a little bit, and I couldn't find, like, that much with the five seconds of Googling. But, like, the manga does not call, like, Ren's new oversoul Bushin U2. The manga instead calls it something like Bushin, like, shark fin or something. Huh. It's like there's a little translator's note that's like, you know, the name literally like translates into something like, you know, fish fin ultimate weapon or something. <laughs> Shark is probably cooler than fish. <laughs> yeah. And I looked up like a wiki. And I tried not to look at anything and it said something like, oh, yeah, it's like his oversoul turns into something like, you know. Bushin to like super Bushin or whatever to like you know Bushin fish fin or something so it's like all right I suppose fish fin is what's supposed to be called fish fin or like shark fin or something like that <laughs> but for whatever reason the anime subtitles we're watching just calls it U2 <laughs> the Bushin U2 <laughs> It's like, I, I guess it really doesn't matter, but it's like, it feels important, especially considering what we learn from the next episode about what Yo's Oversoul is called. <laughs> you know, uh, it feels like there's a bit of, like, the Mac, like, you know, relevance there that's being a bit lost here. Yeah. Uh, Bushin, God of Military Arts, surname, Bukami. Yeah, it makes I sense. I, I just looked up Chinese Bushin. Yeah, that that does like, make sense. Yeah, yeah, because I assume anything related to Ren is uh, would be more accurate to look it up in Chinese. Oh yeah, but yeah, we get the reveal of the new Bush and Ren just like wrecks a dude, and a Naruto just shows up and attacks him while his back's turned. So Ren just made the same mistake that killed him again. He's learned nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although it, it appears that Ren is faking it. Yeah, it's like, it's weird because they sort of no, stuff no, like, no, oh, weren't you faking? And he's like, no, nah, everything up until, like, yo, sword everything after real. the sword slash was real. <laughs> so yeah, I get slashed in the back with the sword, and thankfully it doesn't kill him, but instead it just puts him in a weird, like, dreamscape or whatever. Like, it's a weird mental attack. Yeah. Also, Chok uh, yeah, and then Chokolov tries to retaliate and then gets impaled on a spear. <laughs> yeah, he's fine. He's fine. I I don't know how, but somehow he's just fine. Yeah, there's not even a wound or anything. And he, like he's just standing there at the end of the fight, and he's just uh, I'm fine. Yeah, which leads to this big thing where like now horror horror has to like deal with this crap on his own. And it's like, oh man, how could Horror Horror possibly defeat two Buddhas on his own? Yeah. Turns out Horror Horror's been holding back? I'm not uh, I'm not yeah. entirely sure how to interpret what happened in this episode. It's very confusing because there's like There's people who say like, alright, Horror Horror's hot headedness is like an act, and yo. Know, there's like people who are like, oh yeah, he's like, yo. There's, like, something inside him that's waiting to come out, and, you know, he's, like, he's got some ability that's, like, you know, we hadn't really seen or something like that. And there's, like, there's talk of his name being associated with, like, wolves and, you know, how he's, like, he's ice, but he's also fire. And he's a descendant of wolves. He's a descendant of a goddess who, like, made love with a wolf, I guess. <laughs> uh, and the, the thing with like the ice and the fire thing is something about like look we translated this one way but in the Ainu language it's translated another way and so it's like yeah. he's, he's uh, ice from fi uh, fire from ice I think is what they say so so here's what I'm thinking I feel like I probably like her a little bit about this but I don't remember too clearly so this is gonna seem like way more impressive than it actually is uh huh I I feel like Horohoro has a dark past. 
Oh, definitely. There, that, that's that's definitely an implication. And the, something something bad happened to Horohoro Horo in the yeah, past. Yeah, and the reason he acts out so much is to hide this like darkness inside him to like keep from going back to that type of person. But that's also like what he really mm -hmm. is. So that's the state where he's like as strongest because it's yeah. like more true to himself. Yeah, after after this happens where he makes the ice fist and he's like all serious mode, he doesn't just revert back. He's he's still like this. Yeah, he goes serious mode and like he just like Rex 2 boot is basically on his own, like fairly easily seemingly. <laughs> Uh, it's really, it's incredible. <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> but yeah, they just walks away as like, you know, everyone else is like, you know, just like getting up and stuff. And they're like, hey, horror, horror. He's like, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you about it later. Just don't worry. Yeah. Oh, uh, it is worth noting that after seeing Ren and Chokolov, like, it's like, oh, they know how to deal with Gundara's like Furyoku canceling things and they got new oversouls and everything and yo is like all right ryu and faust let's go train yeah <laughs> like right now <laughs> faust i need you to become a healer stat yeah and so they just they book it out of the stadium and anna's <laughs> like ah they ran away so they wouldn't uh so i wouldn't force them into my hellish training <laughs> Oh man, I I feel like is there much else we really want to talk about with this episode? Not not specifically this episode. Oh yeah, because all the crap happens next episode. And holy crap! There is one thing I do want to quickly point out. Mm. That's like oh yeah, we get a quick glimpse at like cows minions. They all have new outfits. They all have new redesigns. Oh, I didn't notice that. <laughs> oh yeah. Like, big guy Bill is back, and he's rocking what looks like Lego power armor. It's nuts. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's like a lot of them are, like, integrating more of the Legos into their designs now for some reason. It's like, I'm not sure what that's meant to imply, but it's interesting. It means they all fit together to make one unit. <laughs> Exactly. Like, like Legos. <laughs> it's so effing blocking can fit on, like, big guy's Bill's chest at any moment. Crap. Oh, wait. Are they on the same team in the shaman fight? Uh, big guy Bill and Blockin? Yeah. I don't believe so. Like, uh, if I, they were, that might, like, you might have been onto something. <laughs> yeah. That would be interesting, like, but no, it's Team Hanagumi have, like, the Lego thing as well, the witch trio. Oh, do they? Yeah, because I, I forgot, I think her name's Kana, the oldest one, has, like, this big, like, cloak, and there's the Legos going across it. Interesting. <laughs> so it's, like, it's clearly, like, a cross-team thing they just did, and it's like, uh, alright. It's, huh. it's the it's the Hal branding, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> they gotta have those Lego spirits with them just in case. Yeah. I mean, like, whoever Blockin is teaming with, you could uh, see the Lego crap on them and be like, okay, there's probably some kind of combination that could do with this. Yeah. But yeah, from, from this <laughs> shot, I would assume that, like, you know, Big Guy Bill is with, like, Turbine's team with the Chinese chef guy. Yeah, that would seem about right. And I guess, like, there's, like, Lucius is with some other... Wait, no, like, Lucius is with, like, Cow's team, isn't he? With Ochako. He might be. Wasn't that, like, a thing? I, I forget if he was with them or not. I don't I don't know if we know for sure who's on Cow's direct team. Yeah, because... Actually, yeah, no, that does make sense, because it'd be like... <clears throat> It'd be like, oh, wait. him with Ochako and Hao, then you have the Witch Trio, then you have Turbine and Bill's team, and you have, like, Peyote with bows, and that leaves Blocken with someone and someone else? We could find out who's who's on Team Hao, because we just gotta go back to the episode where he murders those X-Laws. Oh yeah, that's super true, is it? We, yeah, I think yeah, Lucius we... was in the stand, wasn't he? I think so. I think I, he was with Hal, and he's like, yeah, we're just gonna step back. 
crap. I I really need to like just figure out who's with who then, because like I I feel like I know some of them, but it's like eh, whatever. I guess we'll see when we get there. Yeah, it probably was Luchas and o, uh, Opacho. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's one more thing I should bring up, which I mentioned on the Discord. But yeah, the the manga just straight up like this is like you can barely see this. Yeah. You know that makes it a bit easier, but yeah, we finally actually... got tournament bracket. Yeah, I didn't actually zoom in on it or anything, but yeah, this this looks terrible the way I've like stretched this out. But screw it, it's fine. Heat production, Niles, Niles is dead. Okay, oh, X dash yeah. number is the X law teams. Yeah, and like of course the darkened out ones are like you know just the ones that are just done. <clears throat> Oh, okay. So yeah, we have like Yo's team versus Sukigumi, which is I believe that's probably Bill's team. I know it's one of the like you know how teams. Mm. And like the next racket, you have like you know them fighting Rin, which is like you know something we just kind of heard about. Yeah, but I mean, of course, those two teams are gonna fight each other. <clears throat> yeah, and we have Nyo Rai versus like. Which I think is, like, one of the Arbua teams. I think that's actually the one with, like, their leader, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe. Yeah, and they're gonna fight, like, whoever wins between X2 and Cavaliers, which is probably, like, nothing. That's probably just, like, a team they're gonna wreck no problem. Well, I mean, assuming... X2, well... I think most of the... I think most, if not all, of the X-Laws are dead. <laughs> Oh god, you're right, X2 is probably dead by now. <laughs> I, I think they're all gone. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh boy, X2 might just lose by default then, jeez. Yeah, so in the episode we're about to go into, uh, Marco is seemingly just dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, that's gonna make things interesting. Like, cause... It, seems, it seems pretty overtly like shown that Marco has a hole in his chest and he's dead. Well, actually, I know. Wait, yeah, cause... I know it's Shaman King, but like, yeah, because Shamash can like revive the dead, but you need someone to like actually fill his hole, and like, yeah, that's that's gonna be a bit awkward. They they might have to like take Marco and literally just like go up to Yo's team and be like, "Hey, you have a doctor, right? Can you fix this? We need yeah. a favor." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um, Ooh, that moment in that episode. Uh, but yeah, oh, we'll get yeah. to that. <clears throat> and we have like Hanagumi, which is the witch trio. They wreck Magical Princess in next episode, pretty much off screen. We don't even know what Magical Princess does. It just seems to be like an old lady and someone else. Mm-hmm. So, so this is where it gets interesting, because, like, Hanagumi's gonna have to fight Hoshigumi, which I believe is just straight up the team that Hal is on, because it wrecked X3. Oh. Okay, yeah, well, they're, they'll probably get to that fight, and they'll go, like, we, we forfeit. Yeah, yeah, straight up. But what does that mean for, like, the witch trio? Does that mean they're just, like, out of the show now? Like, I, uh, I awesome. guess? Or uh, Shaman King likes to have some dark twists. It could start, and then Hal just kills them and consumes their souls. You know what? I could see that. I could totally see <clears throat> that happening. Man, that, that'd be, like, nutty. <laughs> yeah, but I could totally see it happening. Yeah, and last we have Ten, which I believe is Narwhal of the Gondara teams versus X1, which, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, there's not much left of X1 at this point, but still. Yeah, I don't know who all is left of the X-Laws. I'm pretty sure this episode killed off what was left of them. Yeah. Like, ever except for, like, yo. Know, friggin' like Miss Maiden and like yo Lyserg. Miss, Miss Maiden and Lyserg are up in the air. I doubt they killed off Lyserg and Miss Maiden they we didn't see a body. Yeah, I, I don't think Miss Maiden's dead yet, just straight up. Yeah. I mean she um, can survive being impaled by an Iron Maiden. But yeah, of course it's like, you know, the the, like, most just whatever, like, you know, <laughs> obvious take, but yeah. Seems obvious to me the Final Four is gonna be, like, Yo's team, yo. 
Neo Rai, the like, you know, like Gondara leader, effing like Hal's group in X1, if they survive. <laughs> but yeah, that, that seems like a pretty like fair Final Four to like, you know, like assume we're gonna get. And yeah. from there, like, you know, who knows? But yeah, fear that was like worth throwing up. It's good to know wherever, like, it's kind of good to know who's going to be fighting who, actually. Yeah, yeah, because the Cause anime can... strap doesn't show this, so... <laughs> yeah, and it's like, well, okay, I can predict who's going to win what fight. Oh, boy, what do which draw you in will, like, start this one off on? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you have, especially since you had to do it quickly. Yeah... Yeah, that seems like a good starting point. <laughs> Episode 41. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, oh, speaking of yeah. X3, <laughs> or X2, <laughs> I mean. Yeah, this <laughs> this sure was a moment. I will say, first off, uh, the episode starts and uh, Team The Ren is leaving the stadium and, like, Anna confronts them, and it's like, oh, yeah, we know everything. Uh, Horohoro's sister apparently told Opacho about his past. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Sorry, I already did a bit, like, eh. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, it seems like Anna probably knows now, too. And it's like... Like, it's really interesting, because whatever happened with Horo Horo... Like, yeah, it's it, it's implied, like, there's something there. There's, like, some crap. They're, like, yeah, like, it's going to negatively affect, like, Yo's friend group. Yeah, seemingly. she just straight up says something like, yo, oh, yeah, yo, like, you're so you're gonna be fighting, like, Yo next round if your team still stays together by then, I mean... Yeah, there's there's this in, there's this implication that whatever happened with Horo Horo is like potentially team destroying. Yeah, and like keep in mind, this is a series where like effing like members of both these teams include like a necromancer who murdered his way through like the qualifiers. Yeah, <laughs> and Choco Love who just straight up killed like the effing father of like two children on Christmas and like ruined their lives because he was in like a gang and was doing gang violence. Yeah, <laughs> like this. I don't know what this is gonna be. They're like building this up to be some like something crazy. <laughs> yeah, I hope it's not something stupid and inconsequential. <laughs> Yeah, like, I, I hope it's not, like, you know, oh, horror, horror, like, accidentally led to someone's death and he's, like, holding it inside or something. Like, they're they're really selling this or some, like, big deal. Mm hmm Like, I don't think it's gonna be, like, too wildly dark, but yeah, this, like, it feels like this has to be, like, something he deliberately did and is still, like, you know, like, suffering the fallout of or some way. Yeah, my, my thoughts are basically, don't build all of this up for nothing. Yeah, it's exactly. And that's something I'm, like, I'm very worried about with this series in, like, particular. Because, <laughs> like, we've definitely had moments of just building up really big things, and then it kind <laughs> of, like, works. And they kind of just drop it, and it's just weird. But, yeah... They, like, kind of talk about that, you know. And then, like, oh, yeah, there's just a plot to assassinate Hal. <laughs> yeah, it, un, un, uh, what's it, um, Marco didn't tell him to do it. They're just, like, we can't rely on Marco. We're going to take a sniper rifle and shoot Hal in the head from really far away. Yeah. And here's the thing, like, not only does it not work, they know it's doomed to fail. Yeah. These so they people have a, like so yeah. They have a satellite laser. Uh <laughs> a, a satellite laser angel. They These guys play at sniping how is a distraction. 
Yeah. <laughs> and, like, yo, know, they're like, oh, yeah, yo, don't worry, like, yo, I, I knew you'd be able to read my thoughts and you'd be able to see through this, which is why, yo, like, the reason we, like, did this wasn't to kill you with a sniper rifle. It was just to make sure you were close so we know your position. And then hard cut to fucking space. Yeah. So it's like, oh, of all the big <laughs> angels, like, where's Raphael? Raphael's in space. Raphael's in space with, like, a satellite. Like, at first I was like, holy shit, are they going to nuke how? That's what I thought. I thought it's like, oh, they're just, this is good. They're gonna nuke him. Yeah, it turns out it's not quite that extreme, but still. Yeah, I mean, a satellite laser is kind of crazier than just a nuke. I it is and it isn't because I'm just like, oh, if they nuke Cow, he's gonna like take this thing out from space, or the entire island is fucked. <laughs> well, like the satellite laser is like future tech and that's why it's crazier to me yeah you know what? that makes sense yeah <laughs> we we have to spend all the money we got from this car dealership ceo to give how the world's most expensive nosebleed <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah they're, they're like aiming at him with the sniper rifle oh and how is like <laughs> Sorry, go yeah. on. Uh, How is just like reminiscing about stuff, and it causes him to cry. But what even was it? I don't remember. Yeah, he he's remembering his past as they're like airing the sniper rifle am, and he's like he's thinking of his mother, which I assume oh, yeah. means his like original birth mother from like his first life, and not like any of the other mothers he presumably didn't care about. Right, because he's he's thinking about Horo Horo and his dark past, and it's like oh. Uh, raised like a descendant of wolves and like this uh, people like treat him bad or whatever and he's like thinking about it and yeah he gets all emotional yeah, mother and like that makes dingbat the guy behind the sniper rifle just hesitate for a moment and how just appears behind him with spirit of fire and he's like okay yeah no you're done die <laughs> yeah Wait, no, was it Dingbat? I thought it was Dingbat with, like, the sniper rifle. I don't no, remember No, wait, no, which... it was Dingbat who was on the, like, the radio, right? Yeah. Maybe. With, like, the lucky... gun, and it was, like, someone else with the sniper rifle. It was, like, the bald guy, yeah. Lucky? Yeah, I might have been lucky at how just murders. So, yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> uh, I forgot that there was a dude on their team named Lucky. <laughs> I, I completely, like, forgot as well. That just went round for my head. Because <laughs> we, we probably brought it up when they were naming off all the characters. Just like we were we were probably like, ha, dude's name's Dingbat. Yeah, I definitely remember Kevin. Uh, <laughs> Kevin always stood out to me. <laughs> this is the one with the mask, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I always stop that it's like, oh, there's all these, all these weird names, and there's just, like, this weird masked jester dude named effing Kevin. Yeah. Ding, uh, Dingbat stood out to me the most, at least in name, because it's like, like, that's not even remotely, like, a real name. Yeah. Is his name, like, Jonathan Dingbat or yeah, something? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's something like John Dingbat. Oh, man. It's fine. But yeah, yeah, he's just like, he has this whole ball over how he's like, oh yeah, all your friends are dead. And he's like, oh, well, yeah, we knew it would fail and you can read my mind. We just needed to get your position. And read, they... read this and it's like, yeah, oh, you've got a big space laser, huh? <laughs> Damn Neat. it, he read it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they the... uh, as, as you might expect, Hal survives it. <laughs> Oh yeah, because of course he like he just busts ass new Oversoul, which is I guess something he had all along. Otherwise, he's getting this at the same time everyone else is getting their advanced Oversouls, which would be weird. Yeah, it'd be weird that like how is still is like getting stronger as the uh, like at the same time as everyone else. Yeah. Um. Yeah, also, it doesn't explain how he survived it, does it? 
No, it's just like, just shows the aftermath, and he apparently blocked it somehow. So I guess his new Oversoul just have power to like, fight off the laser, and he just like, beam struggled it. Okay. And so yeah, he's like, well, normally this is where I would ask you to join the team because you're so strong, but you caught me in a bad mood. Yeah. It's applied dingbats just gone. Yeah. Uh, uh, erased soul and everything like the others. Oh yeah, Dingbat doesn't make it out of this one. It just just hard cuts. Cause this is the craziest part. Just just hard cuts over. It's like there's just the like the X car and like Marco's just driving Miss Maiden Lyserg and like Tamau for like and some Manta. reason. And Manta, yeah, Manta's just in the X car. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, they just see the flash of light and distracts Marco for like a second. And he's like, oh, what was that? <laughs> and then he gets and then it, in the heart. Yeah, an Egyptian man's brother is just back for revenge. <laughs> and he's like, hey, you killed my brother, so I'm going to murder you with the Sphinx. <laughs> it's worth. <laughs> it's like, it's what? It's worth noting that they do start talking about, like, like just killing people or whatever, and Miss Maiden is just like, yeah, I killed the, like, the, uh, the Niles team, and, uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, like, she, she feels bad about it. Yeah, it doesn't change the fact that she did it, but, I don't it's, know, at least she feels bad. It's a step in the right direction, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Man, I was just like, uh, this is gonna feel like so unrelated, but I was like listening to like a clip from the Castle Super Beast podcast earlier today, where uh -huh. they bring up that like Meowth is the only confirmed like evil Pokemon. No, it's not. <laughs> there's there's like, a, it's not. There's a Malamar in l later seasons that's also just straight evil. Is there? Yeah. Because the it, reasoning it, like, is that, like, Meowth is the only Pokemon that, like, understands, like, well enough to know that his actions are wrong. No, that's just, like, whatever, like, theory that, like, Pat or Wooly came up with. No, I think they, like, read somewhere from some old source or some crap, but whatever. The <laughs> point is, there's a Malamar that it's, like... It's straight up out for world conquest. Wait, just straight up? Yeah. What the heck? It, it's just a straight up evil Malamar. Uh, but yeah, point is there's definitely a philosophy of like, oh hey, like, actions are more or less evil based on how much you, like, can understand what you've done. Yeah. And I feel like that's definitely an interesting thing to, like, throw in there while we're just talking about this. Yeah, and there might be something to be said about the fact that uh, Miss Maiden is literally a child. Yeah, I I feel like honestly on that, like with the whole like meow thing, I feel like I'd take the like opposite stance with Miss Maiden, where it's like, all right, like the fact that she understands what she's done and she realizes it's wrong feels like less evil, right? Yeah. Just straight up. Because it's like, yo, know, at least they're, like, not oblivious to their actions. At least yeah. it wasn't, like, a pure, like, cold calculating move on their part. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, and, like, big plot twist. I think Marco's just dead. Seemingly. Seemingly. I can't imagine he survives this. He I may be revived, I, but he still died. I, I, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, they might bring him back. It's Shaman King. Yeah, like, there, death, there. Is, <laughs> death has almost as much consequence as, like, Dragon Ball. Yeah, at this point, absolutely. Like, we've gone to the point where people are, I feel like, I feel like the cast, like, in general, is going to start dying left and right, and it's just gonna be, like, no big deal. Yeah, because we need them power boosts. Yeah, just straight up. It's like, oh yeah, you die and you just go to hell and it's just fine. Yeah, Don't worry about it. Yeah, he's, they're, they're soul, he's fine. Their soul is in hell. Our power system relies on ghosts. You'll just be alright. 
<laughs> oh jeez. But yeah, they they just kill Marco, and it's like there's this big weird action scene where it's like, oh yeah, we have to escape the Sphinx, and like Lyserg is carrying the car with his angel, and he's like, hey, Miss Maiden, you need to fight back or else, and she's like, oh, but but I can't though. That's the but that guy's totally justified in what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> and that's probably is. gonna lead to a thing. But we have time to talk about that because Yo just gets approached by like the <laughs> leader of Gondara. Yeah, Sati. Oh jeez. And it's like, hey, uh hey yo, yo hey yo, fight me. Yo, fight me, come on, we don't have much time for this. 1v1 me, bro. Yeah, come on, we'll sell this in Smash. And they're like, what? And they're like, no, don't worry about it. We'll kill you. <laughs> you, Yo, you have to die so you can become stronger, please. <laughs> and then apparently... <laughs> and then did... she succeeds. Yeah, apparently... Well, okay, so apparently how getting nuked from space is the indication that they've run out of time. <laughs> yeah. Which... I don't... I don't quite understand what's happening but <laughs> I, I i feel like this implies they know about the satellite plan or maybe leo maybe they just saw the big space laser and they're like screw it we can't screw around for this yeah honestly that seems like a pretty fair assessment realistically <laughs> they just, just saw a big okay. space laser and they're like okay screw it how's not gonna be killed by that now he's gonna be angry <laughs> Yeah. It's just kind of, I don't know, it's just kind of strange. His soul is safe, he's in hell now. <laughs> so yeah, I, I was, uh, yeah, I, I was cracking up with that quite a bit. Oh, because man, it's, it's like, so good. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense in context, but even, even still, it's like, hell is like the least safe place for a soul. I would assume so. <laughs> I mean, normally you'd be right. Yeah, but this is Shaman King. Oh, man. We gotta save him from the soul-eating monster that somehow doesn't live in hell. <sighs> oh, man. So they, like... I feel like before we go any further, there is one thing I do want to quickly bring up because I just remembered it. But there is a small fight detail from the manga. Mm -hmm. So you know back in the previous episode how like Rin's just fighting the members of Gondara and they have this big like tournament fight? Yeah. <laughs> While that happens like I think Marco and like Lyser just show up to Yo's team like in the like Yo's seats in the audience with like Miss Maiden. <laughs> and yeah. I went back to specifically check in the anime, they cut out, like, a quick shot that was in the manga that's really funny. <laughs> We're, like, you know, they're talking out, like, you know, watching the match and stuff. And Lyser just, like, has Miss Man and, like, the Iron Maiden. And he just, like, lays her on the seat. <laughs> like, he lays the Iron Maiden down. And he's like, uh, hey, if this hurts or anything, please say something. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't know what to do about it yeah it's like yo i i guess that would be the appropriate way to seat her yeah just strap in <laughs> the iron maiden to a seat belt yeah just just lay it on the chairs in the audience don't worry about it <laughs> <clears throat> oh man i also wanted to make sure i mentioned that because it was real it's so good but yeah I'm a king is so weird. It's so weird. Like, we have a kid with a samurai ghost who gets murdered by a Buddha lady because she sees a robot satellite laser try to kill a Native American ghost being wielded by a Japanese-like shaman. <laughs> <laughs> I, this is all happening is like an effing European style like maiden in like just a maid outfit is busy freaking out in a car because like an Egyptian man with a, with a sphinx 
<laughs> yeah. And she's too scared to summon her, like, Sumerian, like, ancient law spirit. <laughs> it's like a tanuki and, like, a fox just freak out in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's another, okay, that's another thing where it's like, Miss Maiden can't be dead. Tamau was back there. They wouldn't just kill off Tamau. I, you know, sometimes I kind of wish they would just kill off Tamau. Tamau hasn't done anything wrong. It's, it's her awful spirits. Yeah, but if she's gone, then those spirits will probably leave the series too. It's Dang. It's unfortunate, but I just feel that strongly about these things. Dang, that's cold. I'm I'm sorry, Ponchi and Conchi, you gotta go. I, I don't even care. I don't like him either, but... Uh, well, at least they've been, like, toned down recently, but <laughs> holy crap, they've had some really bad moments. Yeah, of course, the the less screen time they get, the better. Oh, yeah. I don't think know, I'll, even... I'll just take them being, like, booted off the island for something. Yeah, I don't even think they opened their stupid mouths this episode. Yeah. Except to, like, oh, God, scream. Yeah. yeah, I just remember while they're in the car, like, Ponchi and Conchi are just straight up, like, keep reaching for Maiden. And, like, Manta and Tamau are, like, literally holding them back. It's uh, such a small detail, but it's like, I don't trust those things. Uh, yeah, the, oh, jeez. The just easily worst part of the show, just those effing, like... Like, do, does anyone like Ponchi and Conchi, like, unironically? I, I really want to know. If you're a fan of Ponchi and Conchi, let us know in the comments and we won't believe if, you. If you're a fan of Ponchi and Conchi, like, comment, and subscribe so we can roast Ponchi and Conchi more. Yeah. <laughs> but for, no, but for real, explain. Yeah, 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 honestly, explain, yeah. Because I, I feel like the explanation, like, if we get one, is just gonna be like, oh, it's like Master Roshi, you know, it was kind of funny for the time, and it just aged bad or whatever. And I'm just looking at this, and it's like, nah, th these guys are too far, they're too far over the line. <laughs> like, like, Mineta from My Hero, I can at least get, you know, he's not, like, you know, my favorite or whatever, but I at least, like, understand it, because he gets, like, you know, crapped on by everyone, like, all the time. Uh, Mineta just gets beaten up on a yeah. regular basis. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, if you do the thing and, like, someone just, like, punches the character out, that makes it better, I feel like. Yeah. It kind of turns her around to some extent. Yeah, because they're, they, they're getting what they deserve in some oh, way. yeah, straight up. Oh, speaking of which, we get the uh, the line that uh, you get what you give, or like Lyser thinking it as uh, the yeah the uh, the car is about to be blown up. Ah oh, man, what's well, my mind? Because we're gonna probably go like just way longer than normal, anyways. Like, what what do you think about like Lyser's current direction as a character? I don't know. It's it's kind of nice that he's like he never did anything to really make himself truly villainous. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know, I'm fine with him just being part of the friend group again. Yeah, I even feel like... He, even if he was kind of a twerp. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm in kind of a similar position. You know, like, I'm, I'm fine with him rejoining the friend group. You know, I don't care I'm like that much. But I feel like the bigger thing is that it's like, if Lyserg actually did snap and they became the most crazy, most justice-hungry person... That would have been, like, yeah, that would have been interesting to me. It feels like kind of a wasted opportunity. If, yeah, considering his reaction after seeing the Great Spirit, that it feels like that's how it should have gone. Yeah, like, like I want to go, like, full Sasuke, where he's like, oh, I'll blow up the world or whatever, but, like, you know. I'll and I, I will samurai. Yeah, I would have liked to see Lyserg be a bit of, like, a villain, at least for a bit, if nothing else, you know? I feel like that would probably, like, make his whole arc feel a lot stronger. Yeah. A lot more, but, like, uh, engaging. Yeah, but I am glad that he didn't go out and, like, kill anybody. No, oh, he, yeah, I feel like that's the hard no, line. He, he, no, he didn't. Yeah, I feel like I would want Lyserg to be, like, you know, the character who, like, who tries to kill someone, but he never does it, and then, like, yo stops him or something, you know? Yeah. I, I feel like that's happen... exactly where I want to end. 
Isn't that what happened in the fight where Maiden kills Niles? Is like it's like okay, Lyser, show us what you can do, and then he can't kill them. Yeah, yeah, he's going to kill one of the Niles members, and then like you know, morphine stops him, and he's yeah. like, "Why won't my partner listen to me?" Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, it's, but it, it feels it, weird that, like, Morphine's still with him, but she's not, like, tied to the angel in any way. Like, there's no real fusion or whatever, it seems. Yeah, Morphine doesn't do much anymore. Yeah. Kind of a shame, because Morphine's a cool spirit, you know? Yeah, I like her. Yeah, I like the gimmick. It's it's a fun gimmick. Uh, but yeah. So, Yo just dies. Yo just dies. Like, like, sneak attack, Yo's dead. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like... Yeah, Yo just goes to hell. <laughs> and we learn that it's like, yeah, he goes to hell and there's just the giant, like, Oni there from the, like, friggin', like, Ozarian Revoir. Yeah, which is wild. I was, I was like, oh my god, it's him. Yeah, he's just stripped there, and he's like, oh yeah, somehow Sati saved my life, even though she's like, you know, a, what I assume is like a Hindu, like, Chinese-like person or more, so I don't know what Sati was doing in Japan at the time, but apparently she saved him somehow. <laughs> maybe, maybe hell is hell, regardless of religion in Shaman I, King. You know, yeah, that does make sense, but, like, I guess she just accessed hell and brought spirit back? I don't know, it's, it's very weird, very, like, interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's... Because, like, yeah, it's something that's worth pointing out, is that it's, like, all religions in this world share, like, the same hell, seemingly, because it's all just the great spirit. Yeah. Yeah, like, the beliefs may, like, change, you know, what, like, it is and how it functions, but still is the same place. Yeah. Also, Matamune is here, which is cool. Yeah. At, fir at first, it's just, uh, at first, it's just, uh, Yo being, like, Matamune, is that you? And then, like, he doesn't see him, and he's like, oh, I guess I was imagining it. But then we see Matamune hanging out, and he's like, oh, man, you're good. Yeah. But yeah, yo, just like, first off, I should mention, we get like an idea of what friggin' Faust's new power is, because I do love me some Faust. Faust is pretty great. Yeah, he, he's just a healer now. Just, just yeah. done, yeah. Yeah, Ryu gets beat up and Faust is like, okay, yeah, you're better now, done. Like, we don't even see a new Oversoul, it just happens. Which... I'm I'm really curious how that plays out in the manga, if it's just between panels or whatever. Because <laughs> this this feels like the type of episode where there's so much going on, I can see them cutting stuff. Yeah. Oh boy, but yeah, so Yo just goes to hell. Or rather, he's sent to hell. Yeah, and, and there he meets his ancestor, the one who was, a part, was partnered with Matamune, the one who killed Hal. Yeah, Asakura Yokin or Yoten? I forget which is. I forgot. It, yeah, it's something like Yokin or something. Uh, Yokin, yeah. Asakura Yokin, because I wrote the name down wrong. I got, like, the R1. So, yeah, Asakura Yokin. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, it's just like, all right, get in there and uh, clear this. Apparently, this is how you get god level uh, uh, shaman powers. Yo, know what? Fair enough. It happened with Choco Love. Yeah. Wait. Oh, yeah. Wait. Does this mean Choco Love has God level powers? I would assume so, or at least close to it, because, like, Dang. Pascal seems like a pretty strong spirit. Yeah. Like, I feel like, yo, know, Choco is probably being, like, outclassed not everyone else is their new Oversouls, but, like, yeah, Pascal's, like, pretty up there, it feels like. Hmm. <clears throat> but yeah, we also had another mention of, like, this is something, like, that Sati mentioned before, and I forgot to mention it, but yeah, like, when, you know, her team gets beat, she's like, oh, maybe, like, you know, those three are going to be the new, like, members of the Five, and she goes to Yo, and she's like, yeah, you must also join the Five, the Five Warriors, and Yo's like, what, alright, huh? I think she also, I think, uh, Horohoro is also a candidate for it. 
Yeah, I believe she mentioned like horror, horror, Ren, maybe Choco Love, but I'm not sure. I assume she was talking about like all three of them. Probably Yo, and I know the fifth member is like most like like I can imagine it being like Faust or something, or yo, know, maybe it's Ryu and Faust is just the support. Yeah, I I can see that. Yeah. Like, you have the five, like, big warriors, and, like, you know, Faust is off to the sides, like, playing Doctor and, like, you know, reviving people. <laughs> you know, like, I, I kind of wish Faust would, like, get in our big fight, but I'd be fine with that, and, you know, that'd be a pretty neat role. <laughs> but, yeah, so... Yo's just, like, gets sent to hell, and he has to fight his ancestor to, like, get past... And he's just like, he notes that, like, yeah, he's not using Mamune, but he just straight up has the Oni Slayer over Soul. Because, yeah. like, of course he does. Yeah, and it turns out, if you're a ghost, then you just, you can make just about anything happen. You just have to will it to happen like a like an Oversoul. Yeah, makes sense, because, yo, yo just looks down after he, like, yo, loses, and he's like... He's like, oh yeah, you know, why do I have Masamune with me, you know? Why do I have, like... Sorry, not Masamune, what the sword was called. Yeah. But yeah, he's like, why do I have the sword, you know, why do I have my clothes on? He's like, yeah, because, like, I'm a ghost, so I don't have the actual objects with me. It's just because, like, I think they should be here, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, okay, yeah, so if I, like, will it, then I can just, like have the, like, you know, stone sword of the Asakura that we need for our Oversoul, and I can just, like, do the thing. Also, this, is, like, Yo is having this realization as, his, as like, all of the flesh and muscle has been melted off of his hands and arms. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why, but screw it, I guess that's what happens when you get your arms cut off in hell. It just becomes skeleton, and you have to will it back into existence. <laughs> Yeah, he was like, wait a minute, and then he, like, regrows all, like, all of his arm meat. <laughs> he just regrows his arms. Yeah. But yeah, <clears throat> honestly, I do love this a lot, because it's like, oh yeah, you of course, yo, know, this would work like this. And it's like, now we get a chance for Yo to fight the guy who beat Hao. And because, like, it's hell, they can both use, like, the same artifact and both fight at, like, their full potential. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's really cool because we're getting, like, the mirror match kind of deal. Yeah. Also, like, Yoken is, like, um, like, it seems that time hasn't passed for his mind, and he thinks that... Like, he doesn't think it's been 500 years since he's been there. Yeah, for him it's probably been, like, you know, like, a couple days or something. In his, in his head, at least. Yeah, and he's just kept fighting things. Which probably means he has a bunch of, like, personal demons he hasn't put to bed yet from, like, having to kill Hal. Yeah. I guess I'd imagine, yeah. So you get this big, like, you know, fight sup, and it's like, okay, yeah, yeah, we're both using the same tools, but we're just gonna go for it. And Yo reveals his new Oversoul in this really cool sequence, where it's like Aminamaru's, like, you know, like, flowing behind him and stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's... it's... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, sorry, what were you gonna say? I was just gonna say the name of the Oversoul, it's Byako. Yeah, it's like Spirit of Sword Biako, which like the anime makes a specific note to translate as being like White Swan. Yeah. <laughs> which of course is like a reference to the famous like Flat Earther Black Swan picture of a blurry av focus like oil stand and like a bunch of distorted weather conditions that's supposed to prove the world is flat except it doesn't. It just looks like, you know, like a weird mirage effect. It's it's nothing. Okay. <laughs> but it's probably more meant to reference the thousand black cranes unfolding from like the poem. Uh... Yeah, now we have the white swan. <laughs> 
I know Biako as being a big white tiger in Final Fantasy fourteen. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like both of those fit Yo very well. He's both the black swan and the white tiger, and he's gonna fight Ren, and they're gonna have, like, the swan versus the fish. Even though it's, like, a thunder fish. Yeah. This is gonna get very confusing if there's someone else whose element is water. Because there probably will be. <laughs> if Ryu just turns into the water guy and Rin's like the lightning guy, but he's like a fish. And like <clears throat> Ryu's like got like a storm dragon or something. That's gonna be like weird. All I know about Yamato no Orochi is the Okami portrayal where he represents all elements. Yeah. Honestly, think of that, yeah, Ryu probably will end up being the war, because, like, his or soul's based on, like, the river, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes way too much sense. And, like... Because I'm trying to think, because we have, like, the five elements of, like, the thing with how or whatever, and I don't think ice was one of them, but I think fire was one of them, and I guess that's Horo Horo? Because it's ice, but it's also fire. Oh yeah, there's this whole thing where he's like, hey, you know, severe uh, frostbite burns like fire, right? So we have, like, like, it's a bit of a weird stretch, but all right, sure, why not? We'll, we'll take it. So we have, like, fire, like, wind, <laughs> lightning, water. Yo's probably gonna be metal. And then... Uh, Wait, no, that's five. Where'd Wood fit in? I don't know, does it have to be the Sarah's house? I don't know, I'm thinking of that, and it's not quite, like... Because I can't imagine, like, Choco Love is, like, Wood also. I don't no, know, it's weird. Yeah, because yeah, he's Wind. Yeah. Well, um, which, I... which five elements are we going with? I, I don't know. I mean, it, it might be, like, the Chinese ones, like, yeah, like, with the metal and the, the wood is, and whatever. Is Yo the fire? Is Choco Love just wind and Horror Horror is just ice? Wait, Yo uses a sword spirit. He's probably metal. Yeah, it, it would make sense for him to be metal, but then who's wood? I don't know. Wait, is Ryu wood? Wait, hang on. Because that kind of makes sense, sword. Yeah. Because it's like, then Ryu's wood, and then I guess Horror Horror's, like, fire, and wait, who's water then? I don't know. <laughs> wait, alright, wait, hang on, alright. Because it's like, it's, it's an earth mob? Hang on, hang on, let me look this crap up, alright. Chai's five elements. Okay, yeah. Okay, so fire, earth, metal, water, and wood. So, wait, where's Lightning fit in? Lightning might not actually be one of them. Oh, well, well crap, I, how's this, how does this theory work now? <laughs> is he uh, just wood, but also the water? I don't know. The Chinese element uh, ideas don't make any sense to me, because it's like lightning beats earth, and that goes against like every elemental thing in anything else ever. Wait, but Chinese doesn't have lightning. Crap, you're right. What am I thinking of? I Maybe you're thinking of Naruto? Yeah, I am. I'm thinking of Naruto for some stupid reason. I This is gonna give her... You won't screw it, it'll make sense in like a few episodes probably. <laughs> we'll just... Ryu's just gonna like have this big water weapon and he's gonna be, you know, have all these water elemental attacks. And it's like, ah, oh, yes, Ryu, you are the wood of the group. <laughs> and Rin is the water. <laughs> And we're all gonna be super confused. <laughs> oh, man. I I guess it's there anything else to even really say. Nah, not really. This episode was nuts. It, it was pretty wild. I'm definitely looking forward to the next one, because, like, holy crap, this just came out, like... Every aspect of this episode feels like it just came out of nowhere, and it all got me, like, super hyped and, like, excited for what's going to happen. Yeah, kind of the opposite of how Digimon <laughs> treats yeah. it. Yeah. Like, I, 
freaking oh, love Digimon. Please let something happen. <laughs> they got, you know what this kind of feels like? Mm. And I have, like, no data to back this up. This is just a random hypothesis, right? All right. This this feels like, you know, like, oh, yeah, Manga's wrong and Jump, you know. They had the big horror horror arc. It wasn't that popular, you know? People just didn't really care for horror horror that. It's not horror horror, choke of love. They had the big right. choke of love and arc, and it wasn't that popular because people just don't care for choke of love that much. I there's a previous con where someone said that and that was like super interesting. Like apparently he ranked really low in popularity polls. Mm. So he had the big Chocolove arc. And then I believe after that, in case I'm forgetting something, they basically went like right into the tournament and there wasn't really much to like <clears throat> catch the audience in, you know? So this feels like, you know, just speculation, but it kind of feels like, alright, yo. Like, people are kind of losing a bit of interest. Rings are going down, right? Right. Like, they do the whole Marco thing. I I can't imagine it was, like, you know, super popular, but, you know, it probably got, like, a bit of attention back. But still, it's like, all right, numbers are down. L let's just, like, let's just pull the trigger on everything we were setting up and just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, yeah, everyone just everyone reveals all their new oversouls, and we finally just pull the trigger on Gondara, and now all the crazy stuff is happening at once. Cause we need to just get the plot moving now, or we're gonna like yo, know, like risk like getting canceled or something, right? Yeah. I don't know if that's like exactly what's going on, but that's like the impression I'm kind of like getting from this at the moment. It's like. Okay, you know what, well, like, yeah, just just bring back Mamune, you know, bring back all the stuff people liked, you know. Let's throw in big, like, character twist after character twist, you know. Marco dies, like, the X-Laws, like, all just have a big, like, thing where they just get wrecked by Hal. You see Hal's new Oversoul, you see this, you see that, you know. And they're just, like, they're gunning it, right? <clears throat> yeah. And I feel like, what was this, episode 41? I feel like the fact that, like, the finale is closing in probably, like, makes a lot more sense with that in mind. Because I can't imagine the series will, like, drag things out that much more anyways. But it definitely feels like, you know, there's, like, there's some plot lines they probably would have, like, normally built up more slowly that they're just gunning it for now. Because it's like, we don't have time, you know. People are getting impatient. We just have to, like, rush for it. Yeah, how many episodes is Shaman King? Are they going for, like, a 52-episode deal? Last I heard, it was 52. And, like, I don't believe that's changed. I believe it's, like, 52 straight up. Okay. Uh... Me... Episodes in Shaman King... 2021 okay yeah 52 all right straight up hmm. uh yeah it's gonna be four blu-ray boxes with 13 episodes each so yeah that's ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> what's the price does it say uh no i just saw the thing so i guess those will be out eventually and i'd be interested in like seeing how that's gonna work out <laughs> I was just asking because anime series box sets are always way too much money. Oh, yeah, always. Yeah, straight up. Especially for what's <laughs> going to be like airing on Netflix, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're on like episode, what was this, like 41 out of 52? Yeah, so we've got like, what, 11 episodes left? Which is a bit more than I'd, like, expect, but also, like, it feels like we're gonna go through a lot of, like, crazy stuff before the end of the series. Yeah, this this whole thing where, uh, uh, where, uh, Yo has to get through hell is probably gonna be a t an, an entire little arc. Yeah, we're getting <sighs> a little, like, hell arc, which is probably gonna be, like, you know, three episodes or so. And we're going to have, like, the big fag install, like, the patch efficients, and that's going to be, like, a whole arc of, like, I'd assume, like, three or four episodes. Maybe, like, you know, let's say four for simplicity. So it's, like, 
seven down, and that leaves, like, something like four episodes left to deal with Hal for the finale. And honestly, that seems pretty fair. That seems like a pretty reasonable time frame to work with. We'll, we'll, we'll just have to see how it all shakes out. Yeah, makes sense. So yeah, I guess any last words or whatever? Nah. Yeah, right. Crap's got me interested. I hope this goes somewhere like really like fun and crazy. <laughs>